Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you Sunday, December the 6th, the year's 2020. Let's talk trading. It's time for the weekly open and gap. And we have to do the disclaimer. These videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine. And for traders, you know, I've been doing this for years, these videos. I don't know how long I've been putting this screen up, but I know it comes up, you know, at least a couple times, if not, you know, every almost every video I do about trading, that is. You know, our risk management, the risk is the per dollar or percent of your account that you're willing to lose per trade. And so many of you ask me about stop losses. Stop loss is simply a function of risk and your position size. So if your position size never changes, then you, you just have to calculate your stop loss based on the amount you want to risk. Okay, these, these things plug in here. Now, if you're going to change your position size, or, or if you want to move your stop loss, because maybe on one trade, you know, it makes sense to, you know, be at break even minus five, but on another one, it might be at break even minus 10. So you're going to be changing your stop. Well, then your position size needs to change so you can keep your risk, you know, at or below this number. And it, it's that simple. So when you ask me these questions, I'm going to respond like that. And, you know, uh, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, yeah, donations. Um, yeah, I do do have those donational indicators, $50 minimum or, or more. Um, you know, if, so if you send me a dollar, I'm not really sure what you're expecting because you don't get to pick and choose like one indicator. You get the whole batch for the year. But um, you know, there's plenty of indicators that I, I post out where you can go download them or, you know, if you send me an email, you know, I can send them to you. Um, but, you know, you, it's better just to go download that way, you know, where they are and doesn't fill up my uh, inbox with a bunch of requests. OK, so weekly. Uh, we've got a couple gaps that still haven't filled yet. And the pound being one of them, but it's getting pretty close. The pound gap down. I don't know how much of that you could have gotten due to spread, but I do remember, I think price was around 20, 25 when I looked at it. So there was an opportunity, you know, to pick up a few pips if you've been long. Okay, here's the opening range for the month. We opened inside it. So once again, we've got a trigger line here on that opening range for the month. And looking at the, uh, the daily chart here, but we can see all the way back to the beginning of the year, we are 189 pips above the yearly open and 114 above the monthly open. So prices has been moving up. Inside bar. Wow, there's really not much action on the inside bars on the daily. Not that much action also on the weekly and, and ditto for the monthly. I guess price must have moved out of those inside bar ranges. I was breaking the previous day, weeks, or month high or low, so no inside bars. Uh, the range here for the day. There's nothing even close to 100 so far. But you can see the pound over the last few days here. We had some really nice ranges. And notice this high and notice what happened. Price went above it, crossed below it, and kept falling. We'll talk more about that a little later. Here's a pivot. So we gapped down, we had to pivot way up here, far away from the open, uh, long triggers the whole time. Would have been a very nice trade, anybody getting in at the buy zone right here. Now there was some talk, some people say, you know, you get whipsawed, blah, blah, blah. I don't know um, what you're looking at when you get whipsawed. Um, it's usually pretty simple here. 
Um, it's like you say, well, look, I, I took this trade here and then it went up a little bit. Then it came back down and it almost came down here. It almost crossed below the open. It would have stopped me out. But then, boom, it exploded back to the upside. So I'm not sure what you're expecting. Um, you know, the buy zone, it, you really need to be in front of your screen if you're trading. That's, that's just my opinion. Um, you know, if you want to set and forget, you know, you're going to have to have a pretty hefty uh, uh, stop loss here. I mean, but the pivot point, now that's one. And you see where you can just almost put the trade here, target there. Maybe it takes it out. Maybe it doesn't. Right now, it's 29 pips away. Who knows what's going to happen? It could miss that pivot. It could take it out. It's a statistical trade. Rat trades, range is too low. Don't even need to think about it. And here's that pivot once again. 1.3462. We've got a monthly pivot here at 1.31990. We haven't hit the monthly. We've already hit the weekly pivot. But we haven't hit the daily. So when you're looking at these these charts, you really should look at you know the weekly, the monthly, and the daily when you're making those trades. Wick zone, we're in the wick zone. We popped out, came right back in. Because if you remember from this daily chart, it's just such a it was pretty much a doji. It's just huge. And I would think if you get a trigger here at that low to go short. You know, might be lookout below. But then again, with some of the things they're talking about on the political horizon, what they want to do with the dollar and the money supply and all that, weaken the dollar. Well, that just means the pound could go back up to 2.0. So we did all those charts. Wick zone once again. We know we're in the wick zone. The daily ranges so far we're to zero percentile so ranges it just has to expand there's just no two ways about it we already looked at this for them for the month uh last week last friday uh this is what i wanted to show you if you remember i gave a shout out to kate and I told you she was the one that had asked me to, to make this modification to the uh, TRO ATR lines. And so what we're looking at here is from the open, the daily open, we have the open minus um, half of the ATR2, daily open half of the ATR5. Why 2 and 5? It's because the computer... The way I coded it, it does a loop between 2 and 14. It picks the min and the max. So for today, the daily max is 5 and the min is 2. So if so many people try and do what I call find a magic number, and there is no magic number out there. Um, so I said, well, let's just check and just pick out the min and max. Now we have an ATR range. That's kind of a target. So... You know, a lot of times it almost always hits the uh, half of the ATR from open to high and from open to low. And then some of the times it'll hit the whole ATR. Um, and that's one way to measure the ATR, but that's off the open. And so there's the other version of the indicator, which we use it off of the high and the low. And so this is the, the current low plus the uh, ATR2 and the current low plus the ATR5 and then the current high minus ATR2, current high minus ATR5. And so that's where price will probably go and to one of those or the other. And what you have to realize is, is that as price moves up this range is going to move up 
and then as price makes this it's making a higher high and then if it starts to make a lower low this will come down so these move the ones i showed you before are static these are dynamic the, the other one's static and if you pop them if you if you put them both on the chart at the exact same time you can see that basically uh i think they just they just overwrite in this case because the low and the open are pretty much the same but you can see here that there's a little bit different overlap here um here's the d1 high minus the atr here's a d1 high atr2 d1 um high minus atr5 is here but then the open you can see is here which you would think because these will be moving up as price moves up and the other ones will stay fixed and it just depends on how you want to use the tool i know there's some uh buddies over there that hang out with my buddy uh barefoot lem uh shout out to lem they're over there on forex factory you know one of the places that banned me but him and some of his buddies, they like to do the um, take that ATR off the high and low, and they and they basically they're computing a target where price should most likely hit, and it's more of a uh, I guess you could call it a longer term trade. Uh, you know they're looking to take some bigger pips off of it, and so you can basically watch that. So once again. It's just these two indicators, and they're in the uh, TRO build 1200 file, and you know, free to download where I post my code. Uh, and back to complete simplicity here. Once again, if you're struggling with trading, um, you have to understand something. If you think an indicator is going to fix your problem, you're wrong. <laughs> If you think a method's going to fix your problem wrong, and problem, I'm talking about losses. See, there's something, you're doing something that's causing the losses to happen on a regular recurring basis. You know, because losses will happen, but you have to see, it's like, well, geez, every time I enter, it goes against me huge and it hits my stop. Well, you have to figure out, why are you entering there? why are you taking that entry why it's like is your stop too tight see so some other indicator or method isn't going to fix that at all i mean that's why this is such simple such a simple method every hour pretty much price is going to open between two lines on this chart and then you know during certain hours chances of the uh candle being 13 pips or more are almost 100 percent this is not one of these hours that's why i'm not trading right now even though had i taken a trade here i mean right here at the 30 level i could be up four pips and somebody might go oh you know that's only four pips yeah well if you're trading 100 bucks a pip that's 400 dollars so you know once again somebody goes, oh, that's only 100 dollars 400 dollars big deal well, to some people it is. Some people aren't looking to put a Lamborghini in their uh, driveway or their garage. You know, they're happy with a Miata. <laughs> so, um, you know, that's just it. But, but you know, just simple trading. You know, just look at what you're doing, simplify it, and just just keep doing it till you figure it out and, and you start making a profit. Because you can look back here. And you can see the opportunity very clearly. You know, there's no squiggly lines on here. There's nothing for you really to learn about this. What you have to focus on is your money management and your risk management. And that's it. In fact, Walmart and I will probably be talking about that later in the week because uh, we had some good discussions uh, off offline here. So anyway. I hope everybody's had a fun and safe weekend, and I hope you're having a profitable month, profitable month so far, and I hope you have a profitable week. So just remember, it's not what you trade, it's how you trade it. So 
Go out there and drain the banks. This is the rumpled one over.